people today we are going to discuss about Peutz Jigger syndrome which is also known as hereditary intestinal polyposis syndrome as the name suggests hereditary it means it is an inherited disorder basically right which is autosomal dominant in nature right in this syndrome there is basically two things that we have to remember firstly there is intestinal hematomatous polyp formation right so there is a polyp formation in our intestine only right so what is the meaning of hematomatous or hematoma is basically a tumor like growth which is made up of normal but abnormally arranged cells so basically what is hamar toma it is basically a tumor like tumor like growth right which are made up of normal cells normal cells these cells are originated from the that particular tissue so these hematoma is originated in this polyp from the intestine only these are originated from the tissue where it is present basically it is a tumor like growth you have to remember this much right and what is polyp is abnormal growth of cells so there is basically a growth an abnormal growth which is present in the intestine in this syndrome basically right there is mucocutaneous melanocytic macules present also right in this syndrome mucocutaneous means this pigmentation can be present on the skin as well as mucous membrane right melanocytic means as we know that uh, there are pigment producing cells which are known as melanocytes so these melanocytes will definitely produce some pigment right and macules so there will be a pigmented lesion on all over the body in peutz jeger syndrome right so macule is basically a flattened lesion which is 1 to 5 mm in diameter that is it is less than a centimeter right which is present all over the body in peutz jeger syndrome right due to this syndrome there is an elevated risk of developing cancer right this was all about peutz jeger syndrome intro part right now the etiology part so basically it is a hereditary disorder it a it is an inherited disorder so there will be germ line mutation in the stk1 sorry 11 gene stk11 gene which is located on band 19p13.3 right stk11 is serine threonine kinase 11 gene basically right you have to remember this as it is a hereditary disorder so there is a germ line mutation of the stk11 gene right now the clinical features of the syndrome there is no gender predilection males and females are equally affected right the principal morbidity stem from intestinal location of the polyp this uh, disease originate this disorder originates from the illness originates from the intestinal location only of the polyp basically right as there is a polyp as there is a growth in the intestine abnormal growth basically so it will cause obstruction right so small intestinal obstruction will be there right which will definitely cause pain so abdominal pain will occur in patients right hematochezia it means blood in stool right will be there prolapse of colonic polyp this means that there will be a displacement of the 
colonic polyp that abnormal growth will be displaced towards the rectum basically right it all occurs in the second and third decades of life right menstrual irregularities will be there in females right in males there will be gynecomastia right presence of breast in males will be seen right now the cutaneous pigmentation which is having macules in the form of macules you can say which is 1 to 5 mm in diameter so there will be perinasal perioral areas it will be present on perinasal perioral areas and as genitalia buccal mucosa etc etc right this pigmentation may fade after puberty basically right now the histological features of pubes regger syndrome as we know that there is a hyperplasia of the hyperplasia of the glands in this in this syndrome right so these glands will be inter in, invaded by or you can say intersected by smooth muscles right which means that there will be a smooth muscle arborization in this syndrome it is seen in histo histological features right the pseudo invasion of epithelial cells right there will be a pseudo invasion of epithelial cells right now the treatment part surgical treatment for cancers detected by surveillance should be done right thank you